It's no surprise that one of the fastest ways to build wealth is well by owning real estate, specifically investment properties. But what if there was a way for you to not only invest in real estate, but also live in your investments and pretty much live mortgage free. Now, if you think that that sounds like a far cry or if you think that's maybe a pipe dream, well, think again because this is actually known as house hacking and it's exactly what we're gonna be breaking down in this video. Now, before you say, look, I don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars that I can put down. Well, the good news is, is that you don't need that much money to get started with house hacking. And again, this method right here is going to not only allow you to pretty much live mortgage free if you do it the right way, but it's also going to allow you to leverage yourself so that you can buy more property causing a what we would call a waterfall effect where the other properties are paying for your mortgage and then from there you can buy yet more units and more units and more units and well it's not going to cost you anything more than the down payment to just get started so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this so the first thing that you have to understand is that anything that's considered residential is four units or less so whether that's the house that you live in right now which is your single family home we call that one door or if it's a duplex a triplex or even a quadplex that's all going to be considered a residential property. Now, anything above five units or more is going to be considered commercial. So for the purpose of the video, let's go ahead and set up two different examples so that I can show you exactly what I mean. Now, let's first take a look at two different examples. Let's first take a look at the example of the commercial route, which we're just kind of gloss right over because we really want to nail down the residential route. So with the commercial route, let's say if you wanted to take out a loan and the sole purpose of why you would even take this route is because let's say you just, for for whatever reason don't want to live in one of the units or maybe this method might not work for you if perhaps you live in an area where unfortunately you just can't live in that specific piece of property so at that point you would just go ahead and take out the commercial loan and that would be at let's say six percent interest where which, which is where the market is right now but then that starts to cut into some of your costs and then it defeats the purpose of actually living in the property rent free right and not to mention that that's going to run you way more money up front in terms of your down payment so let's go ahead and put that aside and just go ahead and disregard that for the purpose of this video because check this out if let's say you wanted to house hack and again you didn't have much money on deck or if you didn't have much money in your savings well you could use something called an fha loan now with the fha loan you're able to only put let's say three and a half percent down so let's go ahead and run this example right here let's say that you were buying a quadplex and it costs you right around five hundred thousand dollars that means that your down payment would be roughly seventeen thousand five hundred dollars and your monthly mortgage on that would be two thousand seven hundred and fifty seven dollars now remember that's just the mortgage alone so let's go ahead and tack on pmi monthly maintenance as well as property management fees assuming that you're not managing the property yourself because remember you're still living in one of the units and you're renting out the other three i would say that out of pocket you'd be right around 33 maybe 3400 bucks give or take so let's say that you're renting out the three units at fifteen hundred dollars a pop that would put you at $4,500 that again, you're receiving. Once you subtract the $3,400, $3,500 that's coming out every month, you are literally getting paid $1,000 to live in this unit. And oh, by the way, after one year, you are literally able to buy another duplex, quadplex, or duplex, triplex, or quadplex, and pretty much rinse and repeat. And this is called house hacking waterfall now what's the house hacking waterfall that i'm referring to well you look let's say you live in let's say you live in one of the units and you have three other units that are paying your rent after that one year you now have another four units that again you're now adding on to so now you have a total of seven units and then every year you rinse and repeat every year you rinse and repeat and this is how people have literally been able to build wealth without having to take out these extravagant loans where you have to distribute tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of your hard-earned cash now i will add there are some upsides and there are some downsides to this method most people end up taking the 20 percent route and the reason for that is because now you have a little bit of more flexibility with your cash flow as well as a bit more equity already built into the property so if let's say the market starts to fluctuate a little bit and maybe we see a little of a little bit of pullback with rents and how much you can actually charge for them well that's kind of cushioned in if you again were able to put 20 percent down kind of like what you see there and so many people think that an fha loan is just a certain amount if let's say you're going to buy a property and that 
couldn't be further from the truth. If you're buying a single family, again, one door, that's going to be a certain loan limit. If you're buying a duplex, it goes up. If you're buying a triplex, that loan amount goes up. And then if you're buying a quadplex, again, four doors, then the amount that you can actually get in terms of a loan continues to go up. Now, one thing for you to consider is the amount that, let's say you qualify for in Los Angeles is going to be totally different from the amount that you qualify for in, let's say, Alabama, right? So those are some things that you definitely want to do your homework with. And again, remember, you want to invest somewhere where you are actually going to live. So this method isn't going to work if you live in one state and you're trying to use an FHA loan to live in another state, at least not until that one year is up that you've actually been living in the property where again, you can rinse and repeat what we just finished going over earlier. And then I forget to mention that now you have some tax benefits that you can tap into since technically you are considered an investor. That's right, you can tap into a third of your mortgage interest rate. You can now use it as a deduction, which is ultimately going to drive down your monthly overhead that's going to bring you more cash flow every month. And now speaking of taxes, you'll have a few options. Let's first take a look at option A. Let's say you bought that quadplex at $500,000 and you now sold it at $750,000. Well, if you are filing single, this means that you are allowed up to $250,000, meaning you can profit without having any type of capital gains tax on that property where when you go to sell it. And then if you are, let's say, married filing jointly, you are allowed up to $500,000 of profit. So you can literally sell it for a million dollars and not get taxed, any capital gains tax on it, assuming you decided to sell it after living on the property for one year. Now, the second tax option that you have that a lot of investors are tapping into is something called a 1031 exchange. And in a nutshell, what a 1031 exchange, it's just another way for you to avoid paying any capital gains on the profits that you make from a sale of a property. So let's say that you have that $500,000 quadplex that again, you sold, and instead of selling it for let's say 750,000, you now sold it for, for example, $2 million. This means that in an ordinary instance, you would have a $1.5 million tax or a profit that you would get taxed on in a long-term capital gains tax at 15%. But one of the ways and one of the legal loopholes that you'll have around that is through the 1031 exchange, meaning that you can throw in the full $1.5 million in gains into another property that's similar to the one that you just finished selling off. This is how people are able to leverage their money without actually having to use more money to buy more real estate. And this is one of the secrets that a lot of wealthy investors are using day in and day out. Now you're probably wondering, can I actually use this 1031 exchange tax loophole if, well, I'm technically living in one of the properties and well, the FHA loan is technically considered a residential loan. And the answer to that is yes. And here's how this works in a nutshell. Let's say that you're now carrying two FHA loans, but you, for whatever reason, have to sell one of the properties because you're moving or you're no longer going to be in the area. At that point, you would be allowed to tap into the 1031 exchange, thus helping you, again, create that financial, what I would call snowball, that uses that as leverage so that you can now use the funds that are now being tax deferred in here, and you can now move that over here, whether it's going to be another FHA loan or if at that point, you built up enough capital to now maybe put 20% down that ultimately drives down the amount of monthly mortgage you have, which again, increases your cash flow. Or if you wanted to just move out, move out of the FHA space altogether, and now you wanted to buy 10 units, well, guess what? You now have that big lump sum that you can play with that you didn't have so otherwise. So that's house hacking in a nutshell. Remember, you can do this with a duplex a triplex or a quadplex. And the coolest thing about all of this is that you can rinse and repeat this method. And in the event that let's say you just didn't want to do any more FHA loans, then at that point, you can go ahead and venture out and get yourself a commercial loan and maybe get a couple of different partners on some deals with you. If you found value in this content, make sure to hit that like button down below and join the official community by also tapping that subscribe button. Don't forget that anytime we're not posting content on here, we are posting over on the Inside with Earth show, which is our podcast style channel. So if you enjoy this, 
you'll love what we have going on over there. And I want to thank our sponsors over at Amazon's Audible, where they've made it super easy and convenient for you to pick up not only a free month, but enjoy a free book by hitting the link in the description, right where you can find the link in the description to our amazing YouTube course that shows you how to go from zero to a thousand subscribers to monetize your channel, not only on the platform, but off the platform as well. You can also find that promo code down in the bottom. Once again, my name is Irvin Pena, and I appreciate you watching this video today. Until next time, everyone, we'll see ya.